we're going to do the intersection of y equals x squared, which is a regular parabola, and x equals y squared, which you'll notice is the same equation, but with x and y flipped, this is actually the inverse of that. Now, the first thing we're going to do is graph y equals x squared. Surely you know what that looks like. It starts at 0, 0. It has points at 1, 1 and negative 1, 1, as well as negative 2, 4 and 2, 4. It's a regular parabola where the y coordinate of each point is the x, but squared. So negative 2 squared is 4, negative 1 squared is 1, 0 squared is 0, etc. Now we're going to have to do this for x equals y squared as well. Now again, this is the inverse of that. So one option for you is to take the parabola and reflect it along the line y equals x. That's one strategy. But I'm also going to point out that you can take values of y, square them, and that gives you the corresponding x. So as an example, if I started at negative 2 here, sorry, positive 2 here, that's a y of 2. 2 squared is 4, which means the corresponding x coordinate is positive 4. This here is 4, 2, which again is the inverse of the point on the original parabola, 2, 4. Now, a y value of 1 squared gives you an x coordinate of 1, and you end up with this same point again. That's because when you flip the x and y coordinates of the point 1, 1, you get 1, 1, the same point. And actually, that's the case for 0, 0 as well. Now, a y of negative 1 would get squared to give you an x coordinate of positive 1, and a y of negative 2 would be squared to give you 4. Take a look at these purple points here. You'll note that this is a parabola on its side because it's been reflected along the diagonal y equals x. Anyways, the point of intersection between these two points are the points where they meet. So one of them is here. The point 0, 0 is one of the points of intersection. And the only other one is here at 1, 1. Again, you'll note that this, these are the points on the original parabola where the x and y coordinates are equal to each other. Very nice. Now that's how you do it graphically. One other option for you is substitution. Now we know y equals x squared, and perhaps you can say, well, x itself is y squared. So I'm going to replace x with y squared, but don't forget the extra squared here. This is y equals x squared, and I'm allowed to make that substitution because this equation says x equals y squared. That means we're looking for any of the points where the y value is the same number raised to the power of 4. Now, 0 to the power of 4 is 0. That's what gives you this set. And 1 to the power of 4 is also 1. I challenge you to find another number that satisfies that kind of arrangement. There aren't any and this is the graph that proves it, but you can work it out algebraically if you're feeling up to it. Congratulations. There are two points of intersection between these two curves, and here they are. You did it. Best of luck.